everyone, and welcome to Nano Station Technologies Second Life Tutorial Series. Today we're going to discuss the animation triggering permission error. You get this error with the touch to attach drinks, potions, and wearable food items that are created by Nano Station NPCs, bartenders, potion givers things that create the touch to attach objects. These touch to attach objects need permission to animate. When somebody touches one, it automatically grants that permission when it's attached. Before it's attached, it does not have that permission. You still own that item before they attach it. When somebody takes one of these off, especially you, before the timer runs out, Sometimes the Second Life Permission System will default it to being your object and then when somebody else reses one, Second Life is looking for you to give permission to trigger the animation that's in that object. And you will get an error message saying, it's trying to trigger animation, permission's not set. It's a not really common, but it does happen. And I wanted to do this quick video to show you how to fix it. It's a very simple fix. All your nano station drinks and potions are full permission. They come that way so you can do what you need to do with them. The first thing you need to know is which of the items is doing it. It's not the actual thing, reser. It's not the NPC that's doing it. It's the individual item that's being rezzed. What you want to do is look at the message and see what that message is coming from. It might be a hamburger, it might be a certain potion, whatever the name of that's giving you the error message, that's the item you have to fix. Go to your reser, your NPC, and edit it. Take one of those items out and res it in world. So you can work on it and fix it. Just res it right out of there. You're gonna keep this one as your master anyway. So just take whatever item it is, find out which item it is, get your item, and res it in world. Now once you have your item, edit it, immediately turn off temporary. I've already turned it off here because I was working with this one. Most of the items rezzed by, 99.9% .9 of the items rezzed by my NPCs are temporary in world. That prevents prim litter. Somebody can't make a thousand of them, they won't stick around. If nobody touches it, they poof. Immediately uncheck temporary so you'll have time to work with the item. Now. Go to the content tab. Right under the content tab is the reset scripts button. Reset the scripts. All you gotta do, that step is what clears the permission error. Reset the scripts. Before you close it, make it temporary again, but be ready. Be ready because it's gonna go poof sometimes. Make it temporary before you take a copy. Make it temporary, take a copy. Now you have a fresh drink with clean permissions and no errors. Go back to your NPC, edit it, take the drink that's in there out because that's the one that has the errors. Put your new one in. So delete the old one, put the new one in. You fix the error. All you have to do is reset the scripts. That's what fixed the error. Take the old bad one out, put the new good one in. Keep the new good one in your inventory. Then if that ever happens again, all you gotta do is pull the old one out, put the new one in. You never have to go through, you'll have a clean one. Once you have that fresh one reset, you have a fresh one forever. So that's the, one of the things you should do actually is it doesn't hurt to res all the items one at a time, do all the note cards, make all the permissions right, and then reset the scripts and take a copy of each one and keep them in a master folder. That way, if you ever get the permission error, all you gotta do is go to the item, delete the old one, put in the new clean one, and you'd be good to go. All right, I hope that helped take care of the problem, and you have a nasty day.